How's it going YouTube? It's Murderface and today by request I'm going to show you how to make a basic form signature using Photoshop. Now this isn't meant to be the most advanced sig, it's just supposed to be getting you familiarized with how to do it and things you need for it. Some things you'll need is going to be a render. As you can see I already have one here of Tony Stark from Iron Man and you're going to need some brushes. Now you can find brushes, go to Google, put Photoshop brushes, hit enter, you're going to find some. Another good place to look is DeviantArt. They have some great ones there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to hold down Control A so I select all of my render here. As you can see, all the background's already gone, nothing else there. Hit copy and I'm going to go ahead and make a new file. Now most form signatures are about 400 by 150. You can change yours up. Just keep in mind that whatever site you use it on, they may have restrictions on size or even file size. So it's best to look at what the site's rules are first. That way you don't work hard just to get your stuff removed. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to go ahead and set resolution to about 100. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit paste. As you can see, our picture of Tony here is a little too big for our signature. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here to image. I'm sorry, edit, free transform. And I want to click maintain aspect ratio. And the reason we're clicking maintain aspect ratio is because we don't want to distort the image. We want to be still stay the perfect square that it is right now. And we're just going to resize it till it looks okay here. Actually, I think I'm pretty happy with that. We go ahead and hit the check mark here. And there you go. And I'm going to rename this layer to Stark. Now I want to go ahead and make a new layer. And I'm going to place this one underneath Stark. I'm going to call this one clouds. And I'm going to go over here to our color bar and I'm going to go ahead and pick out two different colors. And like I said, I'm going to go with an orange and red. So I'm going to pick fairly bright color of orange here. And then we want to select our backdrop here. Double click. And I'm going to get a kind of dark color of red. It's not too dark, but I think it'll do the job. You could always adjust it later. Now, I'm going to go up here and go to Filter, Render, Clouds. And actually, I think the orange is a little too dark for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to keep going, holding Control F till I see a design I like. And actually, I think this one will work well. So. We have our clouds and we have our picture of Tony here. It's still not looking too great, so let's add some more to it. I'm going to go ahead and make another layer. I'm going to call this one blotches. We're just going to add a little bit onto it. That way it does kind of vary the picture a little bit. Now I'm going to select a darker version of the orange. Now I'm going to click up our brush tool. I'm going to go over here to brushes. And as you see I already have some loaded up here. I think this one would probably do a good job for it. So I'm going to go with that. And by the way, for you guys that have been following my tutorials and some of my other work, I have launched a new site called Shadowline Graphics. You can visit it at www.shadowlinegfx.com or go ahead and look in the description and there should be a link there. Alright, so we added our blotches here. Now let's make another layer. And now we're gonna add some we're gonna add some more brush stamps here. But well, we're going to use these special ones that I found because I think they will make a very nice effect on it. 
And there are a whole lot of different sets, different types. There's blood spatters, grunge, you know, there's abstract, there's fractals. There's a lot of different stamps out there. And I'm going to set this to black. And I think this one will actually work pretty nicely. So, as you can see at the very tip of the brush here, there is kind of a splatter effect. I don't want that in my picture. So, being that this layer is actually behind Stark himself, I'm just going to use Stark to hide it. I don't like how that one came out. Actually, we're going to go ahead and move him over a little bit more. That way it'll give a little more space to be there. There we go. Now I'm going to flip X and flip Y. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. That way it almost looks like one continuous line there. And we're pretty much done here except for adding text. I'm going to go ahead and select text tool. Input our text. I'm going to move it over. I'm going to make sure this is on top of start and everything else because I would like that to be more of the focus for it. As you can see, it is black. It is kind of hard to read because of darker colors in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click it. I'm going to select drop shadow. I do that on all of mine. It's basically a habit I have. And the important thing you want to select is outer glow. As you see, that did highlight it a lot because it is actually a glow around your text. You can play with the size settings. We're going to go with a fairly tight glow here. And I think I'm going to change this to orange color. That way it will blend with the rest of it. And there you go. I've helped you make a sample signature in Photoshop. And I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Or you can visit me on my website. I've been more active there, and I can help you a lot quicker there. And if you have any other ideas for tutorials, go ahead and leave a comment on that. If you have criticism that is just meaningless, take it elsewhere. Because honestly, I'm just going to delete it. I'm not going to read it. So, that being said, I hope you guys have a good one, and good luck with your Photoshop skills.